So this is FSD 12.5.1.3 installed yesterday afternoon. I drove home from Atlanta with it yesterday. Did not record any of that. But it did a pretty good job considering the amount of traffic there was in Atlanta. So we're going to drive from the hospital back to the house. And let's see how it does with the uh, barricade coming into the neighborhood. I've always tested that as one of the first things. We're recording with an Acaso action camera this time, just to be a little different. Let's see how the resolution compares. Is auto stair temporarily unavailable? Again, now that we're on a legitimate road here. I still noted a little bit of unusual speed control. I have it set with a 11 or 12 percent offset to the speed limit. And several times on the interstate yesterday, it would suddenly set the displayed speed limit to 40 miles an hour and would typically slow the car down. When it got to 60, I would usually roll the maximum speed back up to what I had set before. This was with no good explanation. I didn't have any automatic speed adjustment built in, but it was doing it anyway. And it happened several times, not always at the most convenient time, to just suddenly lower the speed limit to 40 miles an hour without any signs and sometimes without any traffic near the car. So if anybody has an explanation for what the car is thinking, go for it. There were a few times that it said it was adjusting the speed to go with the flow of traffic. Again, that's not a feature that I turned on or asked it to do, but it just happened sometimes. It does seem a little bit more aggressive overall in terms of the rate of acceleration. And at times, it was still a little bit late to slow down when traffic was at a standstill in the interstate. In general, though, I would say that it is doing a better job of slowing down coming to exit ramps before it gets to the ramp and on the ramp itself. Though, again, it still ignores the posted speed limits on these ramps since the signs, at least here in Florida, are not normally black text on a white background. So orange signs and yellow signs are totally ignored by the system and it doesn't have stored in the map anywhere what the speed should be. It's almost always driving faster than the speed limit, whether requested or not, on these ramps. Let's elevate the camera a little bit to have a better view of the road. This is not a 360 camera recording 4K 30 frames a second right now. So this Acaso camera comes with a quarter inch standard uh, camera screw mount. So I have it mounted on top of the same selfie stick I usually use with the 360 camera on the other videos. So this week's audiobook is One Nation Under Black Under uh, One Nation Under Blackmail by Whitney Elise Webb, Volume One. So obviously it's a pretty long book. But worth a listen if you're interested in the history of mafia and mob influence on politics and how basically every president you've ever heard of was corrupt, or at least people in his administration were. This book covers from the turn of the century up through Jeffrey Epstein. I drove from Orlando to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and then over to Nashville, and then from Nashville all the way back to Orlando yesterday. So roughly 12 hours of driving, much of it using FSD.
didn't record any of the driving, but did record some interesting things at the destination, which I'll be publishing videos of once I have a chance to do the editing, including a tour of Ruby Falls in Chattanooga and Rock City in Chattanooga and some of the nightlife in Nashville. So stay tuned. As always, lots of traffic in the morning here in Poinciana. It's 9 a.m. on a Monday. One thing I noticed driving on Interstate 75 through downtown Atlanta, Atlanta everybody drives fast, so there's not a lot of time to figure out which lane you should be in at a given time. And it's been probably 20 years since I've driven through downtown Atlanta, so of course I was unfamiliar. But I found the FSD did a much better job of keeping me in the correct lane than I would have done. Because if you wind up in the wrong lane, you might be taking a 25 minute detour. FSD isn't perfect. Sometimes it'll miss an exit or sometimes people will block you from hit making the exit. But overall, it did a very good job. So as you may recall, this barricade gate entering into the neighborhood, FSD generally ignores the gate and will hit it if I don't do an intervention hitting the brakes. There's an actual gate behind the barricade, but it will sometimes see the gate, but it has so far never really seen the barricade. So as usual, until this starts doing a better job, I'll have my foot lightly touching the brake pedal ready to intervene, but I do have to give enough space to tell if it's going to hit or not pay attention to the velocity on the screen to have an idea as to whether it starts slowing down. But I think most of the slowdowns we've seen so far were really in reaction to the gate that is beyond the barricade. As it was a case of too little too late to avoid hitting the barricade itself. So they let three people that were in a big hurry run in. We had a discovered blockage there that the car reacted correctly to. We got trucks parked in the road. It's working its way around those, even with oncoming traffic arriving too late to sneak through. A lot of people in a hurry to drop people off for school this morning since school just started again today. So a little more traffic than usual as a result of that. Make the legal stop, and here we go. Well, that was a pretty good job. So we're getting closer to the barricades. I got the foot next to the brake pedal. We do have these stop signs now. Try to slow people up a little bit because people are failing to see the barricade and running right through it. At least twice a week, there's damage. Then you have people like this guy show up without a sticker, even though there's about six signs here telling you this is a residence only entrance. So apparently they're positioning themselves to see if they can sneak through the gate, but it's still in reverse. So I'm going to lightly press the accelerator to tell my car it can go ahead and go. And nope, that was not getting recognized. I had to disconnect. Ignore the barricade and was about to hit it. So I waited as long as I could before hitting the brakes. It was definitely going to hit it. So, there you go, version 12.5.1.3 still ignores the barricade.
Until next time, see you later.